Hey folks, Will Brink here at www.brinkzone.com. Uh, as we've been discussing uh, fats, I'm going to continue with that conversation and start to broaden out a little on it. Uh, we talked about fat, flax versus fish, we talked about fish, and now I want to talk about fat intakes a bit. Uh, let's start with the basics. Uh, Low-fat diets suck. Uh, any way you slice it, they suck. And uh, so we're going to dispense with that. Uh, the low-fat diet, luckily, even in the medical literature, and uh, is no longer being recommended as, as healthy, heart healthy, or anything else. So um, how do you figure out your fat intakes and why? Well, if you've ever heard uh, through your travels the one-third rule, well, that was a term I came up with some years ago. And what it meant was that of your fat, one-third should be from uh, omega-3 rich polyunsaturates, fish, flax. The other third should come from monounsaturates, uh, olive oil, avocados, that type of thing. And the last third would come from saturated fats. Uh, so that would be the one, that's the one third rule. The amount of fat you want to get in your diet is going to be about 30%. That's about, that's the one area that uh, I think the mainstream uh, press, mainstream medical uh, has it right. 30% <clears throat> seems to be about about optimal. When I'm, by optimal, I mean, for example, optimizing hormone levels, especially testosterone. Uh, studies uh, didn't find above 30% to uh, uh, have additional benefit. 30 seemed to be just about, just about perfect, basically, about as uh, high as testosterone levels as you were going to get, uh, naturally speaking, of course. Uh, so you, it's not that hard to figure out your fat intake. A lot of people are confused by it, and it's, it's really not that confusing. It should be about 30% of calories. And as I said, of that 30%, a third would be uh, omega-3 rich polyunsaturates, uh, a third would be uh, monounsaturates, a third would be saturate. Uh, why saturate, you might ask. You know, some people think that's a, a bad fat. It's not, actually. Uh, like anything, too much of it uh, in high enough quantities, also uh, out of balance with the other fats and stuff, is going to have a negative health impact. But saturate fats on their own uh, are not a negative. The, the fats you really need to avoid uh, are, of course, the trans fats, uh, the processed fats, hydrogenated fats, that type of thing. Those are really the, uh, that's where the quote-unquote bad fats are. Fats on their own are not a negative. They are a positive. So the interesting thing about, uh, to get back to saturated fat, is some of the studies suggested, interestingly, that to get these effects on hormones, uh, any fat didn't do it. You actually uh, needed some saturated fat for this. And of course, you know, like all research in this area, there's still, it's still ongoing. Uh, you know, there will still be some twists and turns and changes over the years that will take place. But uh, the one-third rule has served many people well. It's been used a long time, sometimes uh, credited back to me, sometimes not. Uh, and it will serve you pretty well regardless of whether you're on a muscle gaining, weight gain diet or you're on a fat loss diet. Uh, within the weight gain, weight loss, what I will actually recommend, however, is changing the ratios of these fats. Uh, for example, during weight loss phases, uh, I will tell people to emphasize higher amounts of the omega-3s and change those ratios. But that's another topic uh, and a much more complicated topic. But uh, now you at least know how much fat, percent-wise of calories, types of fats, and how much of each to take. And uh, if you like this information, please, uh, you know, hit the like button and Twitter this and share this. And I hope to see you all on the Brink Zone. Now for more information on fat and diet and nutrition, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos, free reports on fat loss, muscle building, nutrition, supplementation, fitness, health, and longevity, as well as a ton of free articles and my free weekly news fitness letter. So I hope to see you all on the Brink Zone.